All right, let's check out Milio's abilities, guys. Milio's abilities. Obviously, I don't know the numbers just yet. But uh, let's check out Emilio's abilities. Passive, fired up. Emilio's abilities enchant allies on touch, making the next damage deal a burst of extra damage and burn the target. Okay. Okay. I wonder if this is magic damage. But um, already, you know, it's like already with such a simple passive, knowing that all of his abilities would most likely work with this passive, you instantly go to a direction where you think about, you know, all of the support items and how well they will synergize with this. Uh, key thing here, right, is that um, the way the damage is applied is something that is very interesting, so we see that it's magic damage. The way that it's applied, the fact that the damage numbers are shown for uh, the Melio, I guess here we have to think if there's going to be some crazy scenarios where, let's say you play Leandri's Melio and maybe your teammates are going to apply that for you. Usually, nothing in the game works like that, but it... I'm kind of curious to see if there's going to be some crazy interactions like that. Or let's say if you can buy Rylas and let's say if you're going to be able to buy items that amplify this and the on-hit effect is going to be applied by your teammates. I'm, I'm very curious to see if that's how it could potentially work. A lot of champions don't work like that, uh, but we, we shall see. I'm also curious if this will have like an internal cooldown or if this will be able to stack. Um, this would be very interesting, you know? Ultra Mega Fire Kick Milio kicks a ball that knocks back an enemy. The ball launches upward on hit and falls toward the enemy, damaging and slowing enemies in the area upon impact. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming that together with the passive, right? This fireball, if it touches your teammates, similar to Nami, this is going to also uh, just, um, you know, give them that buff, right? And this will be able to be used... I, I, I imagine you can use this, of course, defensively then too, or aggressively where you're chasing or something. Like, imagine a world where you buy Shirelia, and then you can apply move speed to your teammates through every ability in the game, right? So this applies passive for sure. This kind of reminds me, I don't know if you played, but there is this Pokemon, uh, the, the the Pokemon that like runs around and kicks fireballs. I don't remember the name of it. Wait. Score Bunny, yeah, Cinderace. That's the one, yeah. Okay. So it's interesting how... It bounces on first target. Alright. Milia creates an empowering zone that heals allies and increases attack range to those inside. Oh. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this already. I, I, I don't like when, when abilities can increase attack range. I, I'm not a fan of those. Riot have stated the attack range increase is 10 to 20% based on ability level. I really don't like that. That that will create so many abuse cases. 20% attack range. Guys, that can be that's like 120 range. It's like that is rapid fire cannons. It's just that think of it Think of it in a world where you are um, sieging. This is going to put some attack ranges. This is going to put some attack ranges longer than turret range. That is going to be very, very crazy. I think the abuse cases for that are going to be nuts. Yeah, Twitch ulti. Like, like there's so many, so many abuse cases. This is going to be crazy. Like, 
this inherently like this is a very very strong ability i wonder the duration the zone follows the ally nearest to the cast point and can be recasted oh oh my goodness bro my man's getting healed in it it heals allies it heals allies too <laughs> Bro, it heals allies. Guys, just, I'm just thinking, think about all of the support items. Staff of Flowing Water, Ardent Sensor, all of these, you're going to apply this to your whole team so easily. And look at the, the zone is so large. It's a Nico ult. Can I please? Oh my god, guys. It applies passive over and over again. Look! Look! Oh my god! <laughs> Not even once! Look! This Jinx is getting barbecued, dude. I didn't even realize. Look, she's getting roasted. Wow, this better be like a really long cooldown. Wait, how, how much can this move? Oh, it's quick. It's so fast. It's so fast. <laughs> it's so fast. Wow. This has to be a very long cooldown, I think. Has to be like turbo long cooldown. 10 to 20% attack range increase. This is insanity. Wow. The duration is like 4 seconds, is what I was counting. 4 seconds? That's like, you know, you're hitting a turret with a wave. Meteor tosses a shield to an ally, temporarily increasing their move speed. Alright. Is it, does it have two charges? Does it have two charges or is the cooldown just this low? It looks like it has two two charges, no? Look, he's he's eating himself twice. I think this is just yeah, okay. So a lot of power budget went into that W. Okay. It's like, looking at what Q is and looking what E is, it's not that broken, right? But W looks really, really strong, so they put a lot of power budget into that W. Medio unleashes a wave of soothing flames that heal and remove crowd control effects. Holy shit, bro. Guys, we can't pick CC here. This is gonna have a milli, milli angle. <laughs> it's, it's, it's impactful. It's very impactful. Let's see how big it is, okay? <gasps> it's so big! Damn, look at that circle. <laughs> That's a Nikold. No, this is way bigger than Nikold. The W is a Nikold. Guys, if this was Nikold, it would be Pigman. But how big do you guys think Nikold is? Not even Swainold. This is way bigger. This is this is like bigger than Redemption. This is this is really big. This is bigger than Nunult. This is also bigger than GP ult. Kindred W, yeah, we are getting there. <laughs> yeah. Seraphine W, yes, we're getting there. <laughs> wow. Added has a long cooldown. 
Right as did, Milu can't cast this to self-cleanse when he CC'd, and it has a long cooldown. Okay. Keep in mind, this is an ultimate. Okay, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, okay? I think I think the champion is interesting. I think the champion is interesting, but it's like, it has a very strong ult in certain cases, W very strong in certain cases, but other than that, I don't think it's that OP. It's it's not that OP. Like, this is not gonna be like a big band champ. I don't think so. I don't think this is going to be... It's like, the W is eating a lot of the power budget, okay? And there's gonna be some abuse cases for that. And then a big part, it's like, you have to imagine, it's like, how is this champion going to lane? Like, the W is gonna be pretty useless in lane, okay? It's gonna be interesting because of the passive. So, like, the passive is gonna do, do a lot of damage. Right? But people are reacting it's like wow, this is so so OP. Like I have to say after after watching the whole video now, I don't think it's that OP. There's going to be cases where this is picked and it's going to be like really frustrating to play against because like let's say you play Lissandra and the enemy champion has the enemy team has this champion. That's kind of annoying. It's gonna be like kind of annoying for you. And the W definitely is a very strong ability, but then you have to look at the Q and the E too, right? The Q and the E, they, they aren't like super, super powerful abilities, in my opinion. This is the same if you compare it to, for example, Renata, right? If you compare it to Renata, she has an ultimate wave that is insanely good, covers, it's a fucking carpet that taunts everyone. The Q ability is a hook slash drag, right? Like, a, it's a CC, right? The E ability is like a fine ability, right? It's not as strong because a lot of the power budget is going into the W and also into the Q, right? I don't think this champion is going to be OP. I don't think so. I think there's going to be some... Like, the main annoying part about this champion, though, there's going to be cases where the enemy has Milio and you're going to be like, fuck my life. You're going to be like, wow. I have no fucking counterplay against this 900 range AD carry that the enemy has, and he's fucking burning us from afar, and it, th there's very little risk to picking W, you know? Or we p we are picking, we have a Mumu X, and th this guy is just gonna cleanse, cleanse us. So it's like, if you imagine Kogma Milio, right? Kogma Milio, are you, can you imagine yourself playing Kogma Milio against like, the lanes that Kogma is weak against, right? Yeah, it's like the W is insanely powerful. That's for sure. The W is insanely strong. Because you think about how you're going to, like, you know, just scale with that. It's crazy. Just that it applies passive perma. And it's like, you can do some, you can do some crazy things uh, about it again. You, the, the, the crazy thing is like, it applies to everyone. That's what's so crazy here. It's like, it applies to everybody. So it applies to everyone. I'm assuming it applies to Milio too. It doesn't apply perma-passive only three times over five seconds. That's still kind of a lot. Yeah, Twisted Face stun card. Now that's a good shout, yeah. There's, it's like, the fact that everyone can participate in this... <laughs> That's TF Caitlyn. <laughs> that's, that's, that's like some crazy scenarios here, you know? Can you cast E twice? That's how it looks like. I wonder if we can find it uh, like written somewhere, like a lol wiki type of thing. Does anyone have a link for where we can read the abilities to completion? Yeah, the W looks really strong. The W looks really strong. R will be super strong in some cases. Keep in mind, like, R is not going to cleanse... I'm assuming that this is not gonna cleanse knockups, right? Nar on bot lane. So basically, Nar would be a very bad example because Nar attack range is like sub 300 and it goes up with levels, right? When you like skill up Mega, if I remember correctly. Um, so I think this is fine. I think this is fine. Yeah, Tristana could be good, right? Tristana's fine. Yeah, she has long range with levels. Crowd control everything. Um. Not really, right? There's, there's like, 
There's like forms of crowd control that can't be cleansed, right? Knockups. It's like, sure, you can cleanse the slow, but more slows can be reapplied rather quickly, right? And keep in mind, it's an ultimate. Does it work on Mordor? No. How is it even possible that it works on Mordor? Senna Milio is kind of whatever, because Senna already has insane range. So I would rather, in most cases, combine something else with Senna. It does work on suppression. We don't know if it works on suppression. We don't know if um, it works with suppression. It works on suppressions? Oh, wow. Well, that's sucks to be those champs <laughs> if it works on suppressions. <laughs> it sucks to be those champs. It definitely sucks to be Malzahar. It sucks to be Skarner. That definitely, definitely sucks. No, I, I don't think this will have good synergy with short range AD carries. Like, wh why, why does it, it doesn't, ha like, it is a percentage increase. If it was a flat increase, yes, but it's a percentage increase. 10, 20% of a lower number is worse. Nyla, I think, has better partners than this champ. Yeah, the, the main thing, right, is that I don't think that the ultimate is super impressive. I think that the ult will be fun, but I don't think it's like that crazy. Keep in mind, it's like, it's like suppressions. They are very uncommon, right? It's like they are very uncommon to uh, exist. It's like they are not played that often and they're not that often in the game, right? We have Warwick ult. We have uh, Malzaha ult, we have Skana ult. Um, it's like these, these forms of suppressions, they are not showing up often in game, right? And another layer of it is that in when that's not the case, a lot of AD carries are... Oh, Vi is, Vi is an interesting one, yes. Vi I didn't think of, but it's a knockup, right? So you can only cleanse the second portion of it, right? Um, it's like, keep in mind that a lot of ADs can just run cleanse, right? They can run cleanse. Uh, Urgot, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, that's that's another one. Uh, as, yeah, for sure, Fiddlesix really doesn't like that this champion is in the game. That's for sure. It's like if if the enemy... It's like you, you can have situations where your AD carry has cleanse, and that's fine, right? You sacrifice a summoner to make the enemy champions uh, weaker at some point in the game because they have threat of CCing you. Right? And that's Cleanse, and Cleanse exists in the game, and CC still has a place in those games. It's like, keep in mind, it's like if I CC someone, and let's say I burn an ult, let's say I, I Ash Arrow, and then they cleanse my Ash Arrow. In theory, I've traded R for R, right? And, and that's like a fair trade. And in games, the value of each ultimate is determined by everything else. So I think this is this ultimate is very fine to have in the game. I think this is perfectly okay. Right? I don't, I don't think it's that crazy. There's going to be like a lot of cool moments where you're going to like save your whole team, right? And there's going to be cases where I could imagine like Milio support is going to run cleanse. Like imagine you just play cleanse with Milio support or you um you know, it's like uh, you you, you create situations where, where, where you have QSS and then you're going to be always be able to break the CC and then save your team. You know, there's going to be situations like that. I think the most interesting part is just the W. I think there's going to be a lot of interesting synergies there that are going to create like uh, a new layer of, of absurdity in terms of what champs can and cannot do. So that's uh, super interesting. I, I think that the W... The W has potential to, to break the game. I, I think the R, the E, the Q, all fine. Is Q not OP against Engage? Yeah, but keep in mind, it's like you have to compare these abilities to other abilities that are in the game. It's like, compare this, for example, to, to Janna Tornado. Is, is Janna Tornado broken? No, it's a fair spell, right? right? It's just, it's like, compare this to Janna Tornado, it's just a... This is a fucking ultra mega fire kick that can miss, right? It's like... Yeah. I, th I think this, this champion seems fair. And keep in mind, it's like, Renata W, if we make that comparison, right? Renata W is also ridiculous, right? Renata W 
created new fucking uh, fantasies that no one could ever think of, right? Renata, Viego together, Renata Callista, Renata X, right? And Renata has a place in the game. And I think this will be fine too. I think this will be fine. It's like everyone's first initial reaction was, wow, this is so OP. But I think, I think this will be interesting to have in the game. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I think that the main thing, right, is that W, W is, it's like the fact that it's always ticks and it applies to everyone. It will have insane synergy with the support items. It's like you can apply Staff of Flowing Water to whole, your whole team. You can apply Staff uh, Ardent Sensor to your whole team. And the value of something like that is crazy. It is nuts. That is where things can get very freaky. And the fact that this has like high move speed and like a four second duration is what I'm guessing here from what we're seeing. That is going to be crazy. You know, it's like the, the main thing about those items, right, is... The... Even though not all champs can make use of these stats, the potential gold efficiency <laughs> when... Yeah, like Shirelia is also a very good example, right? It's like, I, I would play like Shirelia into Staff of Flowing Water, something like this, you know? It's like Shirelia is going to be applying... It's like Shirelia is going to be applying and so forth. It's like Renata W, in, in theory, you can call it the shield, but it, it's like if something overkills you, right? That could be, it's like, think about all of those champions that rely on resets and rely on executes. That is the difference, right? You have a second life. Like imagine Darius ults you to finish you and you have W. That is a massive, massive difference maker. Isn't this broken with Lucian passive? I don't think it's any more broken than Lucian is together with, for example, Sona. Right? Right? Is it better than Lux, Caitlyn? Probably in lane, not. In lane, probably not, right? And Caitlyn really needs to be powerful in lane, right? Like, this this will be a scaling component. I, like, to me, my own first glance, unless this champion has, like, fucking any out of that range and is fucking lobbing shit at the enemy, right? That could be, like, I don't know what the attack range is. I don't know what the base numbers is. It's like this W ability would just be, like, a very scaling ability, you know? And it's like... There is, this exists, right? But there's a lot of sources in the game that already can prevent you from getting CC'd. So this is just another layer of scaling, right? Because you let your teammates not, like create, you create a situation where your teammates don't need to think about maybe Mercury's or Tenacity or QSS, right? And that's just another layer of scaling. So, uh, I just wanted to highlight here Ardent Sensor as an example. Just to, to, to highlight how absurd it can get if you create a situation where you actually have champions that can utilize the stats, right? So, the, the numbers can get pretty crazy if you create circumstances where all team members are enjoying these stats, right? Like the, obviously, not every champion in the game likes on-hit damage. Or attack speed, right? Same thing for Staff of Flowing Water, right? It's like if there's a situation where you have more teammates that are buffed by Staff of Flowing Water, right? It can get very interesting very quick, right? Because this W is going to heal everybody and it's going to apply these buffs to everybody. And then, of course, there's Shirelia's too. Shirelia is also like a, an additional one that is very interesting. No, don't use R on Engage for stats. No, you can just use W. That's the whole point. Right, but I'm curious. Like the main thing will be is like, what is the W cooldown? Will it be like, oh, they use W, W is down, let's fuck them up? Will it be like that level of a cooldown, or will it be like, oh, uh, this champion has enough ability ace to like have, have it on up all the time? Then it would be like really ridiculous. I could see a situation where maybe you play Milio, and let's say you you put three points in Q for lane, and then you just start maxing W. I could see something like that happening. Maybe you put points in E because that is going to help your trades the most and you're going to put up a couple of points in E and then you're going to max W second. Or like, you're going to put three points in E and then max W. I could see situations like that be playing out. For sure. Right? Especially because this seems to have two charges. There might be a scenario where maybe one skill point is going to give you 30, so it's like 60 per skill point, so maybe E is going to be powerful for lane. You know, something like this, right? 
But this W, it it like I would be very surprised if it doesn't have like cooldowns on the level of Seraphine W, right? Seraphine W as an example, it's like here. The Seraphine W cooldown is very long. It's if you look at it, right? Seraphine W, I think. Seraphine surround sound. It is 28 seconds cooldown. I would be very surprised if it isn't like on par with something like this. If you think about it, Melio is basically the ergot of support. What? You have to explain yourself. Because that sounds ridiculous. In my ears. <laughs> could you, could you expa explain yourself? I'm waiting, my man. The ergot is the ergot of support. I don't think there's anybody else else there really. But that's okay. We can move on. We don't need to put the spotlight on our home here. MF could be fine, but it's like MF is more like... Uh, MF just prefers someone to just CC shit for her, right? So she can just ult and get value out of her ult. It's like... Keep in mind, guys... Just one tip, because every time we have conversations like this, everyone's just fucking saying the most, like any champion that they can think of. What about this champ? Vayne! What about Vayne? Just, just think about, like, it, compare the support to the other options, okay? Right? Compare the support to the other options. And then you can have a more honest opinion of uh, what makes sense. <laughs> 